Yeah, exactly. No one playing with wins in... Uh, was Lincoln playing on that day? No. Yeah. But here we are getting underway, and we have Expendables versus Fisted, the first map. You is was, going though. to be Asylum. Phoenix was, and he's playing here. Yes, he's abandoned them, clearly. And here we go, your next Abso as he tries to take over the bridge position, but it looks like this defense from Nox, is wow. that was perfect. Look how much health he has left over. That's that was a five second round, and it was just complete annihilation. It was like one on ones as well, pretty yeah. much. Just one on ones. And Nox again against Phoenix this time. And he's actually doing a brilliant job there. His teammates are doing an awesome job as well. And here comes the sandwich, and that's just too easy. Wow. It's just. A quick 2-0 from Fisted. It looks like their setups, their team play so far is just going really well. And even on individual fight, they're all winning. Even when one of them loses, the oh other two no. win them. Man, did you see that? No one was on the bridge to, yeah. to fight Nox, and he just gets so much free damage. And wow. even an excellent there, as he just destroys two players. This is so easy for Fisted right now. I would expendables. not be surprised if this ends up being a whitewash. Yeah, I mean, they are proving quite expendable, in fact. <laughs> they're just in there. Almost no value at this oh, point. Going down the stairs, he's dead. Absolutely wow. Helping, but now he left his other mate alone, and Jill is just gonna get the free frag. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. The way he turned around, he did a lot of damage there. He's very composed. Actually, it made it a lot easier than it looks. When you get shot from two angles in this game, especially when one is like directly in front and one's directly behind you, that can be very, very confusing. And to maintain your composure with aiming and so on, and in that is there we go. Quite experience. Have the opportunity to win this round. There we there go. It is. Finally, win a round. And this is going super fast. So let's see what Exodus can do here with the rockets. And there you go. Bounces himself up. Not the ideal situation. They're trying to get a player Doesn't off that upper area, but knocks again. He just lost nothing. Yeah, I, I think Exodus did about 150 damage on that round. Yeah, maximum. It's pretty insane. Here's Nox. Man, he's got 45% LG still. It's going really, really well for him. Look at this. Just a cleaning house. Wow. I mean. All of Fisher's players' LG is above 40%. Exactly, it's looking really, really strong for, for them. And Nox, in particular, is really the playmaker for his team because he's just controlling this bridge so well. He's, Mike, he's actually going to lose the one-on-one -on -one against Abso for the first time, but he did enough there, it, uh, seemingly, as his teammates just clean up after. It's like what uh, Expendables are looking for is to win the one-on-ones first, and even when one of them or two of them win the one-on-ones, the other guy from the team just washed them away, and they all need to win oh. the one on ones for they to, for them to win the round, and it's just not happening right now. Good stuff from Nordag there, actually. Oh, that rocket! Amazing, almost connecting, I think. Nordag just rocket jumping around. He can't quite find the player to shoot at. But here we go, he's going to actually rely on this one on one now. He's got a lot of stack left. He rocket jumps into the mid area. Oh, barely misses that rail there. Does the expendable player. And oh. great connection from Nordak looking for the ne next one. Not going to connect just yet. And he's got so much health and armor still. It's it, uh, unbelievable. We can even take another rail, in fact. There it is. Now he can't anymore. Left. Phoenix still has 56 health points Oh left my god, he almost died there. One, one HP. health left. <laughs> Dropping in for the shotgun. Nordak looked just like he didn't care at all what he was doing there. Yeah, showing no respect whatsoever. Yeah. Oh no, Phoenix, really bad oh. opening engagement. That's the kind of thing that will lose your team in round exactly, in instantly. The guy who was there fighting you, he just has five seconds of free damage to do wherever he pleases. And now we can see Phoenix is the last man standing against super stack players. It's just not going to happen. Eight to two now the score. Fisted are making their mark here on Asylum against Expendables. Aptly named at this point, it would seem. And Nordag going to get in there, but oh my god, he goes down straight away. And things aren't looking so good. And Abso going to make the weapon switch. Oh, and he oh. hits the rail just before going down, but Nox was too stacked. Wait, stacked. Good effort, though. But still, not enough. And Nox definitely comfortable with that lightning gun and defending that bridge. It's in the one on one against Abso here. He's around the corner, around that pillar, trying to use rockets, but. Great double team there onto Nox to take him down. Abso still with 109 points of health. It's a one on one. Let's switch to Jill here. They're equal stacks right now. Let's try go to Abso, see if he can make this happen for expendables. Because if they don't win this round, it is over for them on Asylum. There's Abso looking with that rail. Connects with one. Don't don't challenge Abso on a on a rail fight. You really don't want that to ever to happen to you. There we go. He should just switch to a weapon that... No! Yes, it actually won. goes down. Amazing. Yeah. 
Ooh. Well, okay, there you are. So 10 to 2, Asylum very convincingly taken by Fisted there. As you said, as you so rightly said, these guys know their clan arena, and quite clearly so. They had the appropriate yeah. setups, they executed correctly. Nox, I mean, clearly, it really seems like Nox's strength is sitting on that bridge with LG. I mean, from how comfortable he was doing that, it just seemed that way. And we're going to move to Trinity. And I think this might be one of the hardest maps for the teams that aren't so experienced in, in yeah, the and CA. Yeah, that's the, the best part for Fisted right now, because this is their map. They just wash, uh, whitewashed their opponents, tanty two on their opponent's own map. Yeah, I have a concerned look on my face for Expendables right now. <laughs> I'm unsure if they're able to actually pull things back, but we'll see how things go. We can always be surprised here. I was very surprised, in fact, by Lowfly's ability to play this map yeah. very correctly, in fact. I guess playing in all those point cups. Yes, and exactly. Helped them a lot. Yeah, Lowfly cleaning out the face it points, taking all the points cups down. And here we go. We are going to get on underway very, very, very shortly here on Trinity, which is match point for Fisted, who they, I mean, w what do you call what they just did to Expendables? I don't know. It I was can't. a crushing defeat. But here we have Trinity now. It is the redeeming hope for all the Expendables, the, cla uh, the TTF team. Let's see. Two, one. On Exodus, going to catch Nordag in the back there. Some free damage, but not before he takes some free damage. Can't even find Nox in time. Nox is just going to get that easily. Takes no damage in the process. That looked so easy for Fish. Yeah, really did. Nox was ninja mode completely. Couldn't be found by... The guy who's shooting at all and knocks free damage again and Phoenix is going to come in and get denied absolutely by great lightning gun. Going to come out with 18 health and this is dangerous when you leave players alive. Actually a map like this also, it's pretty easy to escape on low points of health but actually be able to fall back onto some long range exactly. angles. In TDM or CTF or even duel, you can leave players alone with no points of health because that could be good for you but here it can be very counterproductive. You just want to get an uh, outnumber your opponent as soon as possible. Good round from Expendables. Seems like they're doing much better on this map than they were on Asylum. Yeah, it does, does uh, appear to be the way so far. But ha perhaps uh, Fisted just need to adapt to them a little bit and their setups. And here we go. Phoenix going to get absolutely crushed there in that little hallway. It's now Abso tries to make it happen. He does. It's a one-on-one -on -one now. 67 points of health left on Abso as he tries to get Jill down. But... He's very, very hurt at the moment. 40 points of health. Jill 94. Let's go back to Abso. Jill had about 300 points of health and armor before Abso started shooting with him. So it, he just had free damage all the whole round. He's listening carefully for those sound cues. Anything to give him an edge in the situation. The person who gives the sound first then has a disadvantage. Uh, your opponent knows where you are. Oh. There it is. Wow, finds the angle. Great rail from Jill. Just to take it two to two now. Round begins in three. Here we go. What? All six players on the grinder. And Jill with brilliant lightning gun there on Exodus. Electrocuted to death there, but Abso in the distance with the with the rail gun comes in with the close range rockets. Perfect rockets. No, the fourth one's not good. They were pretty and good rockets, boom. and you know he did almost 300 damage to Nardak. That means he was just doing three, free damage on two, Abso's teammates one. as well, because Abso left the grind way too early. Yeah, they were just finding them three one, three on one, three on one. That's not what you can do. Exodus, 100 health left. Great little rail there. Let's, I was about to say, let's go on to the remaining Fisted player, but as I say that, he is an eliminated. Exodus, again, going to make his way to the other lightning gun area here. That is not a good way to start the round, though. Bouncing yourself up there. That's absolutely not what you should be doing. Exodus has to be making the rails now, but not going to happen. Fisted win that round with two players alive. And Ron Nordag now as... One. Or maybe if he's uh, some kind of maybe it's Nordea or so something, much but damage. Phoenix he gets that one. get bounced off. Now they're here way too late, and that's going to be an easy round for Expendables. They're actually yeah. keeping this quite close. Yeah, it looks like Fisted are out of their depth slightly as far as what they should be trying to accomplish as a team. And Exodus coming around the corner finds himself a Jill from Fisted, and Exodus uh, quickly escapes that situation. And long range rails, that's the name of the game at the moment. 
And Fissus should be trying to take this to the mid range, to, to the close range as a team. But Exodus is holding strong so far. He's got no health there. And finally, the double team will take him down. And Fisted go one round ahead here on Trinity. Three, two, one. Mordag going to find Phoenix in the hallway and Phoenix going to have to back away and that's a really bad situation for his fellow Expendables because look at this, three on one, two times and now it is just Phoenix left alive and the grenade rocket jump. Where's he getting damage from? Boom. He doesn't even know. Good stuff from Fisted on that round, very very ideal. And really, it was a lot down to the fact that Phoenix, when you get in, in that hallway, it's so dangerous because you, you have to go forwards. You can't escape. And Nordak gets taken down. Phoenix with the drop. Oh my god, no one connects onto him with any real. That's, that is so lucky. You need to double team him fast in day two. 7 4. Fisted is now on the three point lead. But you know that that hallway actually is. Uh, we saw last week teams get like lose because of committing too many players there, and Nox here gonna have an amazing engagement against Exodus. Phoenix goes down as well in a tandem here. The players from Expendables drop. One, two, and then three. Eight to four, the score. It was four to four, and now this is just seems to have found something. Wow, Exodus is just flying there. Yeah, is, is he an astronaut? Because he looks like he's trying to go to space right there. And that is so much free damage. You just can't get bounced like that. And Expendables are on the back foot so badly right now. And that is going to be it. Just one more player left. And Nox has got so much health. I don't even want to look at how much health his teammate has. And Abso gets double team. Perfect team play there. That coordination was just amazing from this day. One run away of going to the finals. Here comes Nox with the lightning gun. He's been so scary with it so far. Still heading over 40% there. And wow, Expendables coming in from all sides. And boom, Exodus with that rail on the last shot will just take that round. And they have to get five in a row. They cannot make a single mistake. The margin of error is paper thin right now as Exodus gets pushed away. And this is really bad, but he comes in with style here onto Nordag. Gets caught with the wrong weapon out, but he does make a save with the rocket. And Exodus gets pushed away. And with nine points of health, he's still got two teammates alive. And it's just one player left for Fisted. And Expendables make it happen. And there's four more rounds now. It is a steep slope to climb, but they aim to do so. Adlock and Grinder, LG is going all over the place. Subs who gets dropped out. And he's alone on the grinder versus three players off. There you go, Fisted, take it, 10 to 6, and that is going to be the last you'll see of Expendables as it goes two maps to none. And that means we're going to a break, and when we come back, we'll do the next match. So we'll see you for that.